is from 1 Samuel chapter 3. When Samuel was a boy, he lived in the temple with a priest named Eli. Eli couldn't see, so sometimes he needed someone to help him day and night. One night while Samuel was lying down, someone called his name. Samuel! He ran to Eli's room. Here I am, Samuel shouted. Eli jumped up from his sleep. Samuel, I didn't call you. Lie down again. Samuel shuffled back to bed. Samuel, he heard again. Samuel rushed to Eli a second time. Here I am, he said. But Eli sent him away once more. If Eli isn't calling me, who is it? Samuel wondered. He heard the voice a third time. Samuel, Samuel. Again, Samuel hurried to Eli's room. I didn't call you, Eli said, rubbing his tired eyes. Samuel stomped his foot. Someone is calling me. Eli realized it was the Lord. He told Samuel, next time say, speak Lord, I'm listening. A fourth time, Samuel heard his name. Samuel! This time he whispered, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. The Lord said, Samuel, I'm calling you. You will bring messages to my people. I will tell you what to say. As Samuel grew, God gave him many messages to tell many people. God's word coming to us. Thanks be to God. Hi, St. Paul. Welcome to Time with Children. Today, for our Time with Children, we're going to talk about a story from the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel. I was wondering if any of you have ever had your parents or someone else call out to you from the other room, and maybe you didn't hear them. I'm guessing that your parents would say yes to this. You might not have heard them because you didn't recognize their voice or maybe their voice was too soft for you to hear or maybe you were distracted or your mind was wandering and you were tuning out the world. In our Bible story today, Samuel, a young boy, hears his name but can't figure out where it's coming from. Eli is a mentor of his and stops and thinks. And he tells Samuel, wait a minute, that's God calling to you. God was calling to Samuel because he wanted him to do something very important for God. Wow, good thing Samuel listened and kept trying to figure out who was calling him. Did you know that God calls to you too? Sometimes people ask me, how do you hear God's voice? Well, some people, people might hear God's voice just like Samuel did. And others might hear God through other people and the things that they say to them. Or maybe we might hear God's voice or message or call through a song or a Bible verse or a prayer. Sometimes I even hear God when I'm in nature and I hear the sounds of nature. I hear God reminding me how amazing and expansive and beautiful God's love is. Think this week about how God talks to you. God doesn't just ask grown-ups for help to do God's work. God knows how wonderful you are and how special God's children are, and God calls you too. May we all take time to listen for God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for calling us by name knowing our hearts, and empowering us to help. With all of our distractions in this world, Lord, help us to hear you this week and help us to be comforted by your voice. Amen. Have a great week. As Jesus
Jesus loves me, the Bible.